by the name of Sarah and if it is the first time on my channel welcome and guys if you have been here you are a regular thank you so much for coming back to my channel so like I said today we are on another video and I am going to test out this foundation for the first time my channel is mostly for beginners and people that are new into this makeup thing and they want to learn step by step so i recently bought this foundation from clicks as in like yesterday i went to clicks and then i bought this foundation and it retails for 149 guys as you can see i have never used this foundation i have used um the concealer a couple of times and i really like the concealer and hopefully i love this foundation as well because i looked at the reviews um of this foundation and all the feeling that people they really love it and i thought okay let me go and test it out for myself let me tell you this thing of not being able to swatch or to test foundation guys it's such a huge problem because you know buying something and only to find out later that it is not your color or it does not work for you it's the most important thing when it comes to a flawless foundation or makeup application is that you should base your skin by moisturizing your skin make sure that your foundation lands on a place that is nicely moisturized um for reducing main mattifying prime plus this one right here so because the pump always gives me trouble guys I just taking the product to my hands and then I start to make dots like so primer has set and now it's time for me to apply the foundation oh this is a new foundation i believe but it looks like it was pumped foundation guys i have not used this foundation before oh my gosh So I'm going to put it on my on my skin. Before you go and buy your foundation, always try to find reviews of the foundation on your Instagram. Find the view the, the reviews on the website. Find reviews also on the YouTube so that is exactly what I did and one thing that I have learned is that it is said to be oxidizing after some time so I hope that it's gonna oxidize because it looks a little bit light but I'm going to take this brush of mine and then I am going to spray in a little bit of the setting spray and then I am going to pet the foundation, guys.
like an all white party right now so again the next thing that you should look out for when you buy a foundation is that it's a light coverage it's a medium coverage or it's a full coverage foundation i'm going to use this pro concealer Going on with the same damp sponge. apply this Gemma color fixing powder from Cryolan the end of this video and i absolutely absolutely love the finish of this foundation guys i don't feel dry i'm looking myself in the mirror right now i think this foundation really does oxidize i don't think i look that pale anymore because i'm using a small mirror guys so i don't know so this is at least you can get it at this camp at Chofoshini, wherever they are selling Revlon, I think that they do have um, this foundation. Do let me know on the tips and the tricks that you are going to use from this video. Let me know what you have learned and what would you love to see more on my channel. And today, guys, I have inserted a little bit of snippet of my entire outfit it quickly so the earrings i bought it from um that shop one of my rubbers that so it costed me around about 35 rand and then the headband also was 35 rand or 30 rand for this necklace that i have right now with freaking map i think i bought this this one i bought from um mr price about couple of weeks ago and the bodysuit guys it fits so well it's so snuggy and it's in size small to medium 
I bought this one for 149 and the track paint also was 149 and guys I hope that you have enjoyed this video and thank you so much for tuning in and until I see you on my next upload Ciao